Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back to put a cover on our 2017 art journal. So in the previous video, I used the accordion style binding to just put a, make a little book out of all those pages we made last year. I was thinking about creating a cover, and Marta, who uh, had originally done the tutorial that I'm Rebecca recommended to me had covered hers with fabric and it wasn't something that she painted she just took a piece of fabric so if you sew I mean there's just so many options I was also thinking I altered these um, file folders but they're already stitched together but if you did some of those with me and you didn't stitch them that would be a perfect opportunity for you to use one of those to cover your art journal but what we, what I had done, and it's a video that I, um, it's called Painting on Cloth. I had painted on these pieces of, I think this is called duck cloth or canvas. I've even jelly printed on it before. So if you did any of those along with me, you may have those. Um, again, it, it can be whatever you want it to be. This is actually a Bible cover or a book cover that I made out of the duck cloth and stitched it together and put these little pockets in it. So that would work as a cover. And this is actually what, and then this is just, I think I'm gonna use a cereal box as my base. Let me just set that down. But basically this is what you're going for. And I'm gonna use, um, see I could just use this and stick the covers in there. I don't know. I mean, why not, right? Um, because I, and it actually is like the perfect size because when I cut my fabric, I'm going to make it a tiny bit bigger so that it overlaps. So see how, let's just put this in here. It doesn't quite fit. So when I stitched it, I stitched in a little bit so this page doesn't fit. I mean, my covers I could cut so that it would fit, but I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, that's my other bird I got, my little parakeet. Anywho, I'll save this for something else, and I'll use um, the, the other fabric. I have these other two pieces that um, would work. This one's a little small. But this is the uh, canvas, I guess it is. But I'm going to keep the fabric in one piece, but I'm going to use two pieces of, um, like, cardboard. And I'm going to leave this naked, in other words. So I'm not going to put cardboard here. I'm just going to let the fabric cover the binding, okay? Um, and then I'm going to glue... The same way we did the pages, I'll glue the covers to the front and back, but this will be like loose. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, listen, this is my first time doing this. So I'm going to use this big one. This was a, like I said, this was the um, painting on cloth tutorial. And I'm just going to choose a piece that looks nice. I mean, there's all types of gold on here. I used glitter paint, all types of stuff. And like I said, I'm going to cut it to a smidge. So if this is nine by six, Maybe I'll cut it by to nine and a half by six and a half. Um, but I want it to be, uh, so it's going to have to be six and a half, 12, 13 by nine and a half because I want the fabric to wrap around the book. Okay? So I'm going to go with 13 because I want it to be, let me just double check. This is six, so I'm gonna go six and a half. Oh, you know what, let me measure the binding. The binding's like almost three quarters of an inch. All right, let's do a little math. Just a little, all right. So we have six and six is 12, and the binding is three quarters. So 0.75, I'm not good at math. <laughs> so that's 12 inches. And then I wanted to add a half an inch on each side, so this will end up being, if I add another, uh, what is it, 0.25? Oh, God. Now I've gotten crazy. 
7, 8, 9, 10, so it's 0. So I think it's 13, right? Because that equals an inch. So if I cut it 13 lengthwise, it's going to go 6, 1, 6, okay? So we'll have, and this is 3 quarters. I think that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 13. Uh, oh, man. I'll go 13 and a half. But for this part, I just want to do a half inch extra, so I'm going to go nine and a half on this part, or on this part. All right. So first I just want to cut a straight line. So let's, I'm going to probably just put this in my cutting board and my cutting thing to get. I should, no, you know what? I shouldn't be doing that. I should go get my proper cutting stuff upstairs. I have a, um, I'm going to go get my sewing cutter like thing. I'll be right back. All right. It's called a rotisserie cutter. I think, I don't know. And it's for cutting fabric. So I went and got that. But first let's make the cover pieces. I need to calm down. See, I get so excited. I'm just going to cut this cardboard, um, into our pages are nine by six. So I'm going to make the covers. Let's see. Six and a quarter. No. I'll go six and a half by nine and a half. See, I want a quarter inch on to overlap on the sides, but this I don't have any overlap. But basically, like if this is I just want a quarter inch, but this might be a little because it's wonky. Yeah, I think a quarter will be fine. Alright, we'll do that. So it's gonna be two pieces at six and a quarter by nine and a half. And that way we'll have a quarter inch on top and bottom because this is the nine, all right? So let's go with that. And I want these to be nice and straight because that's just how I roll. But to begin with, I'm just gonna get so it'll fit in my machine. <laughs> so let's see, I can just cut this. I don't think I can get two out of one side. I just want to use the best part of the cardboard. And we'll get a straight side. I'll show you. I'll make the other one off camera so I don't take up time. I'm trying to start to try not to. I always try not to. And this is a little wonky. All right, I have this cutting board. Hopefully this will fit in here now. And I just want to get a straight edge. So we're just going to get one of these edges straight. This is what I'll have to go by. All right, so that's my first straight edge, and this is going to be the six and a quarter side, but I got to make a straight edge on this side too. Okay, so now I have two straight edges. So now we can start measuring based on this line. I want this to be six and a quarter. So I'm going to take this and push it up against this and go to six and a quarter and make my second straight edge. And then this side I want to be nine and a half. Hopefully I didn't cut it too small. All right, so I'm going to make two of these. Now let's see how it looks up against the art journal. All right, so I'm going to butt it up against the binding. And I have a tiny bit of overlap in the front, which that's how I wanted it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut another one of these, and I'll be back. Um, and we're going to have to figure out how we're going to cut the fabric, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, I am going to use Fabri-Tac, which is a glue that is 
specifically for fabric. Well, it says lace, glass, leather, blah, 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 but I love it. And I'm going to glue this on, oh, sorry, to the, to the, huh, yeah, because I think I'm going to do this. I mean, you don't have to, you could just cut it up against and it'll fray and it'll look cool. But I think I am going to fold it up over and uh, do it that way. And I've got two pieces here. What do we want? Three quarters of an inch in between for the binding. And then I'll have enough. So, and I kind of liked this end. I don't know. Actually, I like this end. I don't know. God, decisions, decisions, right? All right, but I'm just going to put glue all over this piece of cardboard and probably a liquid glue would be my choice in this case because I think it's going to absorb into the fabric and that way you'll get better adhesion, you know. Um, also, I mean, I hope this doesn't leave like those little dry, like hot glue sometimes can make a, um, and you know what, I probably didn't need to put it all over because we're going to glue. See, I didn't need to do that. Whatever. I'm just going to put it down. Because as I'm doing it, I'm thinking out loud and, um, what I'm realizing is really you only need it to adhere on the edges when I, you know, I mean, this part, I think it's going to be fine though. It is. It's fine. And Fabri-Tac is awesome. I can also mark this. I brought this ruler with me because I didn't know how I was going to do this. But I think what I want to do is mark off now what did we say this was a quarter inch the binding right but let's just three I'm sorry three quarters of an inch duh all right I'm gonna go to the three quarters of an inch mark and then from there I want it to be what uh six and a quarter so from the three quarters of an inch mark, six and a quarter, I'm going to mark, I'm going to mark it with, I have a fabric pencil here somewhere. Well, we'll see. I think it's a white low Cornell pencil. All right. So from here, we want to go six, one, two, three, four, five, six and a quarter. Um... I might as well make a line on the other side too. So that, let's see. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a quarter. All right? And let's see what that did. Am I even? Approximately, right? So that's where I want to glue this one down to. And this should have enough, I don't, but you definitely want to, what you really don't want to do is not leave yourself enough space so that when, that your book stays like this, it won't close. So this part you want to be more generous with than not generous, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to measure again. This really needs to be at least three quarters of an inch. I think I'm going to tad, I'm going to go a tad, maybe I'll just go an inch and then I have a little, no, it's only three quarters though. All right, we'll go with that. Oh, uh, sorry. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing with this side. I'm just going to double check. See, that's an inch. So if, even if I go like right here, I really just want to make sure it's straight.
I'm going to put a line down this side too. Three quarters is right there. I'm just going to give a pinch of more room. All right, let's glue. Fabri-Tac, this is Fabri-Tac Beacon by Beacon. Beacon makes other type glues. But this is like a gel glue and it's different than in the last video I used um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive which is a white glue. This one has tack to it so that's why any of the tacky glues maybe are, are intended to do this but it, it sticks right away. You don't have a long time to wait for it to dry. Um, but it's specifically for fabric that's why I'm using it. All right, then I'm just pushing it down, and that's three quarters. So the next thing I'm going to do is just cut off the rest of the fabric and just give it a nice straight line. I want it to fold over, so I don't want to take off too much. Actually, that side's pretty good. I'll just leave at least like an inch on each side. So I just take this, it's like a see-through ruler and kind of put it, I have to stand up. And then if you use this, you can just, this is a um, self-healing mat and you can just cut it like that. It's super easy. So if you have these tools, and I do, I just like to break them out because why give myself a headache using things that aren't meant for it you know and uh, get it done nice and easy so oopsie and, and that doesn't matter because I'll show you what we're gonna do next I may as well cut this one make it look nice and pretty right because the next thing you're gonna do is bevel or what is it called it's called miter miter the corners so when i did um art journals i used to do this all the time because it just makes it look really neat so basically you're going to cut on an angle for the corners so let me just do one and I'll show you what you're what you're trying to do. You're supposed to be getting this little so that when you fold it over, you get this mitered line. It just looks neat when you're folding it over. So you're gonna do that to all your sides and even here at the binding, you're gonna do it. You can cut this off or you can bind it, you can put it in there and then it will be nice like that too. You know, you just leave it on and then um, and I mean you could be putting like 2017 on here or whatever but for right now I'm just loving that I'm using this fabric that I already made, you know. So, I hope you guys do that too. And upstairs in my sewing area, I found a um, file folder that I had done. And, you know, so, all right, now for this end piece, yeah, I still, I got to focus or I'll mess up, mess it up. And then... just put this in here and fingers crossed guys I 
I think it's going to be perfect. Okay. Well, not perfect because nothing's perfect, but it'll be very good. All right. So we're going to adhere these down, and I'm going to get, use the fabric tack again. Uh, I do. So basically, you didn't really need to cut. Well, I think it's okay that we did. I've actually never done this before, this little tab here. But just when I was thinking about it, I'm like, well, that's kind of cool because it is going to make this end piece um, look nicer. So I'm just going to run the glue. While the bottle's upside down, I'm just squirting it out because I'm impatient. I don't want to do too many because I want it to be nice and wet when I stick it. Like this doesn't seem like I have enough. I'm, I'm pretty generous with it. And then you just want to push it up against and stick it. I would pull it toward me and stick it. I'm not sure about this piece, but I'm sticking it down. We'll see how it goes. Maybe you could just do it like a, you don't need these pieces. So kind of like a triangle here. Never did that before, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut that off. I don't know if that it matters one way or the other. But it'll just look nice um, to have that uh, not have a raw edge too. Since we ended up doing it this way. I say we, like you're right here with me. All right. And I just take it and kind of go right up against the edge and press. Really give it some pressure. A glue gun will work just fine. I think you'd be fine. It might leave those little ridge bumps, the little bumps of, um, cause that, that glue dries so fast, sometimes it'll dry and it leaves a ridge. But this you can smooth out. I really, really, really like Fabri-Tac. Okay, this side isn't sticking as well. And I still really wanna be sure So I'm just kind of creasing it there and creasing it here so that when we adhere it, because I'm going to adhere it the same way as we adhered this, I'm just going to try anyway. I don't know. This could be where it all falls apart. I'm going to do this piece. Pull it toward me like this. It was nice today. It was, well, the sun really wasn't out. I think tomorrow is going to be even nicer, but it was like 50 degrees. I was a, I cleaned out the up the porch because the porch had it was just like random 
leaves and just windblown stuff and ugh. All right, and then this. I'm so happy I decided to do this. It just makes it more mine, you know? All right, now let's pick a front and back. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. OMG, I can't make decisions. <laughs> But I kind of will have to choose a front and a back. Um, and then you could take those two pieces of white if you wanted to really make it spiffy. After we glue it to that, you could cover the back like this. And you could even decorate these first, you know? So do some, I don't know, whatever you want. But... I would tend to either use um, another piece of fabric or just something. So, all right, now's where I'm going to probably want to kick myself if I don't get this right. So, I can already tell this is like moving this way, but I like the gap over here. I like, we have that little quarter inch in the front like a book would have so you're going to eyeball and center this so you have a quarter inch on all three sides and then we're, you're just going to pull it up actually i think when we pull it up we're just going to go for it and i think we're going to be good i'm so excited omg okay um i'm going to do the back first so let me think how we did this with um See, here's the thing. I might want to add my piece of paper first. I think I'm going to do that. Because all that's going to stick to it is this. It'll be stuck like this. And I could do it separately. Yeah, I think I'll do that first. Okay. So we're going to pull this off. I just want to add a smidge more. And I'm going to line it up. So that it's even on top and bottom. And the binding is right up against the edge and set it down. I hope that was good. And we're gonna just push that down. Use your um, embossing folder, or oh, what is this called? Bone folder, bone, yeah, bone folder. And then for this one, I'm just gonna pull it up and go down. And we're good. We're golden. All right. Uh, yes. The only thing is, then that should open. Yes. Okay. We'll see, guys. We'll see what happens. This is it. Are you excited? Yeah, it's just like a book. So, I am going to add this right here. And I'm going to add this right here. And it wants to go up a little bit. Why? Why do you want to go up? But I think it'll be good. And this isn't sticking. This is one of the ones that I did with the wet glue. 
So I mean, it's not perfect, but man, it's pretty close. Like I'm impressed. I'm really happy with this. I mean, it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, this is a little tight. Like I don't know if, I mean, I think it's okay. I'm gonna go with it. Might as well finish it off, right? So I'm gonna put, you know what, I might as well just put it all over here. Just because I have it. I keep saying that, I'm like a broken record. But, I mean, it's true. making sure it's adhered to the paper. It looks like it is, but it might have air bubbles under it, or I don't know. I'm going pretty close to the center, but not all the way. And even though it's fabric, I probably could have used the fabric tack on the edges. I think that'll hold. And it's not the most, I don't know. I don't need to be that careful. I'm being a little too particular, don't you think? And then this has that. I like doing it this way. When you lay it down, you can kind of figure out how much you need. And hopefully that'll be good. Oh, see, I had the, I had put some of the uh, ATG glue down there, and see, I forget. I ordered this, by the way, this big roll of double stick tape um, on Amazon. Um, I think Dick Blick has it too. Uh, did I get it on Amazon or Dick Blick? One of the two. And you just, Sook Wang is the name, and I can't think of the other name. I think it's just double stick tape, but whatever. All right, so not right, right, right in the crack, but I just eyeballed it. Which way did I use it for the top? So that's the back. This is the front. And our book is bound. Look at that. It's a little journal. All right, you guys. I did it. I'm super happy with it. And so, like I said, you could do whatever you want to your cover. I just thought, hmm, fabric? Well, I've, I've painted fabric, and I've never done anything with it. And I love that the binding here, this part, 
is it just covered all that ugly accordion but it's not you know it's just fabric so you have it's just like a book it's like a real book all right you guys so this is 2017's art journal and i'll be back later in the month with our first page of the 2018 art journal okay thanks for watching